Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Dennis. So today we're going to review a product called Flex Clip, and it's basically it's a editor, video editor. Um, you can put all your pictures, everything together, and you can do some video, add some music, all that kind of good stuff. It's basically you don't even have to download it. It's all online. So we're going to go in, we're going to have a look at it, and uh, yeah, here we go. So you're going to start it off with FlexClip.com. Hit enter. And you're going to go in here and you're going to click on login. And you can click your email and password and you can go in and, and do that. So I'm going to do that and we'll come back. Okay, so Flex Clip is uh, here after you log in. So you can see everything you do. You can start your upgrade for your projects. So yeah, I, I don't have any right now because I'm just starting to use it. So just create your first masterpiece today. And you can do my projects, so it'll save them for you. Everything, again, is online. Now, you can install an app as well. Um, you can save it as favorites. You can do stock videos. And it gives you different businesses, uh, backgrounds, uh, different categories, in other words, um, to choose from. Okay, abstract, holiday, wedding, finance, motion, travel. You can see all of them here. Anyway, so... You can do cloud storage, so you can sign up for a membership, and it's subscription-based, of course, and you can try it out, see how long you like it. Now, you can do a seven-day money-back guarantee, okay, so when you first start, and you can choose from different size fonts, all right, and let's go back home. So, let's start a new project. Let's go start from scratch. And you want to do storyboard mode or timeline mode. Well, I don't know. Never used it before. But let's start with timeline mode. Let's see what it gives us. And down here it says if you want to mute a clip. Okay, so we have our scenes. And you can pick your different uh, videos here. So you can pick the little clips. You have your media. So you can drag and drop local files. So when you have your recording already, you can record from your screen or record webcam. Okay. So these are options that it gives you to start with right now to record everything. Basically, it's a video recorder. So you want to capture your game or anything like that. Or if you've already got files, you've already saved a game or you created your own little video and you stored it on your computer, you have local files, so you can choose from local files and pick whatever you want to put in there. You can see how you can go from timeline, okay, so let's just click that, and it's going to let you search and do everything down here, tell you how long everything is going to be, and when you're done, of course, you can save it, or you can view it by clicking here, or you can just not do that for now. If you click play here, it's going to play anything you put together. Um, you can insert text. You can create whatever you want. You can type in here, double click, and enter your text here. All right, and then just whatever you want to put in there. So let's start from home and let's go business. So you want to create a slogan maybe. So you can start here. You can watch videos on how to create them. Okay, how you can share them, all that kind of good stuff. Share them onto YouTube wherever you want to do it to, wherever you want to sh save them, okay? There's so many different features here, and you know what, actually, I found it before I even signed in, there was a lot of stuff you could do as well. 757 video templates, that's a lot, trust me. I have a different video editor that I use, I don't think it has that many. And you can choose all the different categories, product feedback, you know, it's got everything here to help you with the product. So again, I'm going to go back to start with scratch. Uh, let's go storyboard mode. See what we got there. So you can add a storyboard to get started. Okay, so got it. Add videos and photos to your media library. Choose text animations, elements, overlays, backgrounds. And you can even make more adjustments on the screen yourself. So your background, let's see what we got here. Is it anything at all? Right now, nothing. 
So you can choose your own background if you want to have your own background in there. And this is where you can start adding stuff to your storyboard. All right. So do I have any photos? I don't think I have any photos, but if I did, well, all right. They have some stock photos we could use. So let's drag that down to here. Let's pick something else, drag it down. And you can see how if you were choosing your local files, you could put those in here and then just simply start it up. Everything's going to play. No problem. So you want to start it from the beginning, of course. Now these are just individual clips. It gives you an idea. You have elements and music. So you can pick different music. I'm not going to play these because uh, copyright. But they do have copyright free music as well. So I just want to point that out. You have your different elements. So you can, like, you want to create a little thing to subscribe to your channel if you're on YouTube, like I am. And uh, if you look at the bottom right of mine, you'll see the little subscribe button. Overlays. You can pick different ones, kind of like a PowerPoint presentation. You can pick your different overlays for it. Again, your backgrounds, you can have abstract, you know, there's, there's so many to choose from. Like I say, this is all online. Now, you can buy subscriptions and that will get you even more. So I want to go there and I want to show you that as well. And again, I want to just going to mention here that you have templates and you can title it up here, whatever you want to call things. All right. There's an awful lot more to this, but I just want to point out the quick, easy things that you can get to and what you can do. Okay. Right now it's at 75%. What if you want to zoom in? Do you want to really see what you're capturing? You know, 200%. Can't go wrong with that. And I believe the stock is 75 right there. You can go fit and you can go fill. That fills the entire screen. So maybe you got a video that's on here. You got that little black border on the right hand side. So you got empty space. So if you go fit, or rather fill, it's going to fill it all up. So just something to be aware of. So I want to go and show you if you decide that you want to buy this, we'll say. Is there an option? I'm sure there is. So what if you want to upgrade? Here you go. So choose a plan that's going to work for you. You can be billed monthly or annually. Right now you can save up to 50%. Right? There's a free version. Okay? Doesn't cost you anything. You can have one stock video per, pro per project. Maximum of 12. Video length only up to a minute. Three background removal. And 48p. So obviously we're probably going to want to start right here with the most popular. Which is $10 a month. Or $119.88 a year. Look what you get. You get 1080p, full HD downloads. You get five stock videos per project. You can save unlimited projects online. Video length up to 10 minutes. Custom branding. There's no flex clip, water clip. Okay, so it's not going to be in your features. You got more features here. What we got? 30 gigabyte of storage. 100 gigabyte of video hosting space. You can upload custom fonts and 100 background removal. Now this is at just $9.99 a month. You want to go to a business one? Here you go. $20 a month, $240 basically a year. And video length up to 30 minutes. You have custom branding. So you can create your own branding. Put it on your videos. Up to 1 terabyte video hosting space. So you pay a lot of money for that by itself. So the fact that you're getting that included with your cost is pretty good. You want more features, less features, and that's just what it does. And you can do v uh, detailed comparisons, which is pretty much what I just did. And just have fun with it. So let's get back out of here. And let me see. Again, let's go over some of the music. All right. Huge choices you got a lot of different ones to choose from put that into your video and away you go photos and now if you want you can include uh, your photos in here so when you choose files you can save them here and then they'll always be available to you you can do transform okay so you can rotate left right vertically horizontally you can do filters you can adjust, so you can adjust your exposure, contrast, 
brightness, temperature, tent, you can see them all here. Saturation, the whole gambit. You can even do animation. All right, so these are basically cut scenes. All right, so photo animation. Once you do it, you click apply, and you're good to go. So I just wanted to bring that to you real quick, real short. I went through this, and I had some photos. I put them into the story, story mode, put them together a piece of music. It was pretty amazing, actually. So tell me what you think. Check it out. It's free. You can try it for free for a while. And, of course, you have subscription-based as well. All right, so check it out. See what you think. And, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, I like it. Personally, I like it. Uh, there's a few more things I'd like to see. Um, for full-blown video editors, one thing I've noticed, and I don't see it here, is you have two story modes. You can have, like, multiple, actually. So you can put a video in a video. Now, I don't see that here, so that's just something to be aware of. But I think, like, if you're doing, like, TikTok and things like that, this is this is right up your alley. YouTube, it would be good for that, too, but a little more limitations. But uh, overall, pretty good product. So I just want to show you as well, you have 16 by 9, 9 by 16, 1 on 1, 4 to 5, and 21 to 9. These are all your different formats for how you want it to uh, display on your screen. So just keep that in mind in case that is something that you always uh, work with. I do 16 and 9, that's just the way I do mine. Uh, I think if it was TikTok or your mobile application, you'd be 9 by 16. But uh, tell me what you use. So this is what I wanted to point out. So if you go up to here, you can see there's a whitelist. So it says submit your YouTube channel ID. The audio content that they provide is 100% royalty free and can be used safely in YouTube videos. However, it's still possible to be mistakenly flagged as the wrong, wrongful use of copyright content. That's why I'm not using it in here because I want the video to go out so you can see it. But you can try it out for yourself and see what you think. All right, so you can put your YouTube channel in here, submit, and you can go over there. You can go for billing, like my plan right now is free. When I upgrade my plan, I go here. Social. You can create your social accounts, whether it be Twitter, um, whatever it is, TikTok, Instagram, whatever, whatever you want. You can do your password, your profile, and you can go in here and you see templates, create. These are all the different choices you can go with. Just for a few of them, I might add. You got different tools. So, Slideshow Maker, Mem Generator, Gift Maker, Screen Recorder, which Screen Recorder alone is kind of worth it for a lot of things. Because that's what I'm using right now is a Screen Recorder. I'm just not using that one, but I could be. You want to trim your video, merge videos. You, you see all the options here. Transitions, watermarks. So, there you go. Just a little bit extra. If you like the video, hit that like. If you don't, you know what to do. Um, hit that bell for notifications of videos as they come up. If you're new here, think about subscribing. Uh, join if you want. There's a join button. Soon to be super thanks. So if you just want to say thanks for the video, if you like it, click on that. And you can donate to the channel just to help it out. Helps me pay for things that I'm doing. And um, yeah, tell me what you think. Put it in the comments. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.